Hey everyone, this is Mike with Confused IT. In this video, I want to go over how you can update your ASXi hosts uh, using vCenter. So instead of having to SSH into each host and run the, uh, the install commands and reference a update file off of a data store and move VMs on and off the ASXi host manually, uh, more power VMs off, which is even worse, uh, you could just pretty seamlessly use vCenter as a way to push out the updates. Uh, and if you have clusters set up, it makes it really easy where, you know, the VMs just move around the cluster and the server that's being updated currently will go into maintenance mode. It'll come out of maintenance mode. It'll do all the work for you. Um, it's been pretty reliable in the, the times I've used it. Um, it's been around, the updates feature in vCenter has been around for, uh, I think it had a few different names, Lifecycle Manager maybe. There was a, I thought there was a few different names that it had previously, but... Uh, it's been around for a few major releases now. Uh, I've used it in 6.7 and 7.0. It's pretty intuitive in those versions, pretty reliable. I think it existed in 6.5 and maybe even 6.0, um, but I don't know how, I don't remember being very reliable or even heavily used in the environments that I've worked in. So, uh, and those versions are older now, anyway. So, so the newer version, um, again, in 6.7, uh, sorry, yeah, 6.7 and 7.0, it's been working well for me. So, this is how uh, how it works. So first thing is log into your vCenter, uh, and then pick you know in the hierarchy where you what you want to update. And so this is kind of like a uh, or uh, you know what you want to show in your updates. So like for example, if I'm in the top level here, and I go over to the updates section and I go into the uh, baselines, it's going to show everything that's in my vCenter. So every every host is in there. It's going to be shown in this screen um, if i try and update it'll do everything in and out of the cluster everything that's in the, in, everything that's in the in v center so if i go to the data center same thing this will be um you know every single uh host that's inside this data center and then obviously the cluster level just what's in this cluster if i go to updates it's only going to show those three servers in my cluster uh, if i pick a host it's only going to show that one host and so that's how the update screens kind of work so based on how what you want to update um, click on that object in the hierarchy and then go to the updates tab so in this case I'm gonna do the cluster so this will be the whole cluster it'll update these three hosts automatically uh, the next thing I'm gonna do here is so now that we're on the updates tab uh, and we're in the baseline section you would hit check compliance um, this just it's a one-click thing so we'll just hit this button and down here, it should have a task for scan an entity. So it's gonna go through and it's gonna to check to see um, what patches are on all those hosts, those three that are in the cluster. It'll compare it against the uh, these three baselines, your critical host patches, your non-critical host patches, and your host security patches. Um, I just did it a few minutes ago. So there's basically this is compliant. So I have all of the critical host patches, thankfully, and <laughs> I'm not compliant with um, these two, the, the non-critical host patches and the host security patches. So um, this can take a few minutes to uh, update, you know, to, to process. Um, if you have any hosts in standby, I recommend, you know, powering everything on uh, before you press this button. This way you get a full scan and there's nothing unknown about those, you know, about what's, what's being detected. So, um, Looks like it's almost done, 90% done. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is, is you could do this um, pre-check remediation. I'll do that now. And yep, this kind of just tells you if you have any issues that may prevent you from doing a, uh, you know, the, the, the remediation of these patches by, you know, installing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check off all of these, even though I already have the Compliant one, I'm just going to check them all off. It's easier that way. I'm going to hit remediate. It's going to go through that check once again, I believe. It's going to show me what ho uh, hosts are affected, what their status is, how, what patches are missing that are going to be installed. Um, you can schedule this since if you wanted to schedule it instead of running it immediately. I want it to run right now. And then remediation settings. So. Um, do not change VMware power, uh, VM power state, uh, retry entering maintenance mode in case of failure. Um, you know, the defaults here are usually fine. 
and yeah, in this case, it, it looks fine to me. Uh, parallel mediation, I believe, is if you want to have more than one um, host update at a time. I usually just do one at a time because I only have three hosts. It keeps everything nice and clean. So I'll go ahead and hit remediate. And there should be a progress bar here. So what's going to happen now is it's going to put one of my hosts into maintenance mode. It's going to automatically move all of the VMs off of it, which is nice and convenient. Um, so move the VMs off, maintenance mode. It'll do the installation, the install the patches. It'll reboot. It'll come back online. It'll take it out of maintenance mode. It'll move the VMs back, and then it will repeat that process for the second and third hosts. And if I had more, it would be so on and so forth. Uh, again, because these are in a cluster, it makes it nice and easy because the VMs can V motion between the, ho the, uh, the hosts and they can be moved back and forth without any issues. So it makes it a pretty clean um, update option. Obviously, if I just did it on one host, you could just power the VMs off and do the uh, use this utility to do an upgrade. And it'll put maintenance mode, reboot, come back online. You could manually move the VMs off um, and then do, again, follow these exact same steps and it'll bring you back to. Uh, to patching it automatically. So in another video, I'll cover uh, how to do the manual installation through uh, SSH and how to get the the um, you know the host updated individually. Um, but in this case, we'll just, uh, yeah, so there it goes. Got the first ESXi host in maintenance mode. It's currently doing the install here. Uh, again, it'll reboot and come back on and then take out of maintenance mode and move on with the rest of the updates. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and I will resume once they're all updated uh, and show you what that looks like. All right, everyone, the updates are done now and we can see that all of my hosts are now compliant with those three baselines, the uh, critical host patches, the non-critical host patches, and the host security patches. So now that we're all up to date, um, it went real smooth, just took a little while for some of the VMs to be motion on and off some of the uh, hosts. But yeah, just just like I said, you know, goes into maintenance mode, moves VMs off of the host, puts it in maintenance mode, installs the patches, reboots, comes back online, takes it out of maintenance mode, puts the VMs back, moves on to the next host. Um, yeah, nice, clean, and easy. <laughs> in the next uh, video, I'll go over how to um, manually patch a host without have, without using the uh, without using vCenter. So, hopefully, this was helpful for you, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Our website has some resources that you might find useful as well. Confused IT is a non-for-profit organization ran by IT professionals. Our mission is to make IT knowledge more accessible and easier to digest. Thanks for watching.